Welcome back to our conversation about some of the big issues you're going to be uh, deciding on Election Day just about one month from today with Matt Murphy of the State House News Service and Katie Lannon of GBH News. So uh, you mentioned uh, question one in passing, the so-called millionaire's tax or fair share amendment. Uh, Matt, the State House News Service reported last week that legislative leaders are sending out very mixed signals about both the three billion dollar tax rebate that was triggered by excess revenues that all income tax filers are supposed to get and also the tax breaks that they had all agreed on uh, last summer up on Beacon Hill. What is going on here? I think Democrats are really struggling to figure out how to move forward. Uh, they wanted to deliver tax relief, both a, a good election year sell, and also they knew they had this excess revenue to spend. It's good politics and good policy, perhaps, to send some of that back. The the three million dollar, three billion dollar law that they weren't counting on has really thrown a wrench in this, and uh, they're struggling to figure out how to move forward. They have to scale back their economic development package. We know that because they don't uh, have sessions to past the borrowing necessary uh, and you know we've seen some reports like the recent one from the Mass Budget and Policy Center say some of this excess money that's going back uh, could be a result of uh, tax policy changes that's just delaying some refunds and deductions that people could claim in the out years so they're worried about affording this not this year but in the, the subsequent two, three years, and I, I think they're really struggling to find out what can pass unanimously. Is there any chance they might try to renege on the rebates, Katie? I think that is a, a chance that's out there. No one's said for sure we're not going to do them, but they also haven't said, yes, we will still send them out because yeah. people are going to be getting some sort of money back under this tax cap law that threw a wrench in the works. And for some people, it'll be about the same amount of money. And... I think that might be one of the reasons we're, we're not seeing motion is because you don't want to renege on your refund promise right before an election. Even though the de facto party leader, really, Maura Healy, uh, has come out strongly and said, yeah, the, the law is the law, we got to give that money back. She's actually echoed Governor Baker on that, saying yeah. we can afford it all. We can do the economic development spending, we can send the rebates back, and we can do the tax relief that you originally planned. Uh, but, you know, Senator Mike Rodriguez, the Senate Ways and Means Chair, really bristled when asked if they were delaying this until after the election when we talked to him this week. But it's definitely a real possibility. Yeah, and he normally keeps his cool. That was interesting. Hey, Matt, Katie. Great stuff. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks, Look John. forward to reading and listening to your coverage going down the stretch here. And thank you very much for joining us. Do not forget uh, to make a note that WBZ, CBS News, Boston, and TV38 are the place to be on election night. Uh, network coverage of the national story on BZ with uh, some local coverage as well. And, of course, in our regular newscasts. But wall to wall from 8 o'clock on, we'll be here on CBS News, Boston. Uh, CBSBoston.com and uh, TV38. So check us out on election night.